Hello guys, my name is Natasha and welcome to my channel, Only In Your Mind. This week is a cute little face paint of a giraffe. If you guys want, you can actually do the giraffe hair on a cheek for the kids and adults who don't have such a big forehead like mine. You can actually do it on a cheek. So if you guys want to see how I did this giraffe, just keep watching. So what I'm going to start with is this arty cake and it is um, from Silly Farm. It's called Pineapple Yellow and then a little drop which is also a Silly Farm brand and it's a Paint Pal brush. So I'm just going to pick up the yellow and the yellow that's closest to the black. I'm not going to use any black from there. I'm going to try my best not to get that. The giraffe's neck right here, just like that. And then I'm going to do a triangle right under that line and fill it in. I'm going to extend it kind of in the middle of my eyebrows too as well. So the brush that I'm using is a filbert brush. It's kind of um, circular at the top. So I'm not going to lay it flat. I'm going to lay it on the side to do the giraffe's ears. And I'm just going to pull and get that line. Basically, it's just basically a line, but at the top is kind of rounded. And I'm just going to make his ears a little bit more fuller in the middle. And I'm going to make these things that look like horns, but they're actually called ossicones. I had to look them up because I wasn't sure what they were called. I'm not a fan of glitter, but I'm going to go ahead and use glitter on this. You can't see it, but glitter always makes a design look really good. Now it's time to make a palm leaf and I'm using this DFX split cake and I'll put the name of it in my description box below if you're interested but it's a really cool color combination for leaves and stuff. Now I just did some lines and on the side of those lines I'm going to just press down my brush and it's going to make a really cool palm leaf. Now there are some really awesome stencils out there which I would love to get but this is really easy to do to, especially if you have problems with stenciling. This is really cool to do this leaf. So I'm going to add a flower on the giraffe's head and I'm using a 1 4th angle brush and a tag split cake. And you can use any color combination for the flowers, but I'm just using this one here. And I'm going to dip the tip of the brush, which is the pointy part, in the white and then the heel of the brush in the pink. And then I'm just going to lay it down where I want my petals to start for the for the flower and just press down and pull up and then do the other one press down pull up and press down pull up so I'm going to do five of them now it's time for the giraffe spots so I'm going to go in with that same filbert brush that I have the yellow on and I'm using this furry critter from fusion and I'm just going to use the tan and the brown and I'm just going to put it on that same brush that already has the yellow and it really doesn't matter because we want it to kind of like blend in anyways. So I'm just going to lay down my brush and just randomly just put spots. So I decided to add some more flowers and I'm using a lily brush from Mark Reed and I'm going to dip the whole brush into a white paint and then I'm going to use the blue from this split cake that I used earlier and dip the tip in it and I'm just going to press down and make one petal and then press down and make another petal. So I did five petals and I did another one on the other side. Now. If you wanted to, you could leave this out if you're doing this as a face paint or whatever. I wasn't sure if I liked the flowers, but I think they're cute. But anyways, I decided to add them. Now I'm going to outline in black. And this is a fusion black as well. And I've been liking the fusion black. It's pretty, pretty good. So I know it's been a difficult time for everybody that has to stay home. And it's basically the whole world that has to be home but um, 
I actually picked up a new hobby and it is crocheting. I made this really cute baby Yoda. And if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen it, but here it is. I'll post it for you guys. Isn't he adorable? He's not perfect, but I really think he turned out really cute. Now here I think it's the coolest part of the giraffe and it's the giraffe's eyes. I'm going to make kind of like a half almond shape, fill in most of that almond shape with black for the pupils and then on the side add some white and then I'm going to put some dots to inside the eyes, literally to inside the eyes, one bigger and one smaller and I'm going to do some eyelashes. I really think these eyes made the giraffe and made the whole design. It was so cute. Since everybody's been home, I think I've done three videos and I'm hoping to do more for you guys. Of course, it's going to be more of a face painting tutorial, not a full face and definitely not any special effects because that's something that I really don't do. I would love to learn so I can get better at it, but I haven't done that really in a while. Now I'm going to use this stencil and I'm going to use the corner of it where it has almost like a triangle dot shape using my finger dauber and just using some white on it and just pouncing down and it comes up with some really awesome little dots. So we're coming to the end of this video and I really just wanted to say to you guys thank you so much for coming back and checking out my videos. You guys are amazing and please be safe, stay home and just be safe. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you guys so much for sitting back and watching me do this cute little giraffe. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave me a like, subscribe to my channel, and please stay safe. And I hope to see you guys back on my next video.